This video is part of a series of videos which explain each stage of the design process in a step-by-step -step format, whilst demonstrating how to complete the design folio tasks associated with each stage of the design process using examples. This video will explain the idea generation stage of the design process. Generating ideas. The next stage in the design process is to take all of the information you've gathered and begin to create design ideas or concepts in 2D and 3D. There are a variety of methods known as idea generation techniques, which can be used to help spark creative or unique ideas, such as brainstorming and thought showers, scamper, morphological analysis, mood or lifestyle boards, technology transfer, analogy or biomimicry, and lateral thinking. These idea generation techniques will be explained in a separate video. Design ideas. The important thing at this stage is that you communicate your ideas clearly. The design ideas must be different to each other, match your specification and show your creative ability. Creative ideas will show that you have imagination, originality and add value. An initial design ideas page should include sketches in 2D and 3D and even some evidence of model making to communicate the different concepts. Graphics in the design process. Graphics and in particular drawings and sketches are the quickest method of communicating your design work. Designers employ a wide variety of drawings and sketches to communicate their ideas. For example, rough 2D and 3D sketches are used to quickly record generated ideas or develop your ideas. Orthographic sketches are used to provide detail such as dimensions and sizes. One point and two point perspective and isometric sketches are 3D graphics which are used to better visualise an idea or when sharing with non-experts. Exploded or assembled sketches can be used to show how different components fit together in 2D or 3D. A sectional sketch can be used to communicate the interior of your ideas and cutaways can also be shown in 3D. A scale drawing can be used to better visualise size and proportion and to help you work out sizes to ensure that you're able to fit things together during assembly. A working drawing is usually provided to the manufacturer to help facilitate manufacture of the product. And a manual rendered illustration or a computer aided design render to, is used to communicate the final design proposal to the client. The next few slides will go through some examples of initial idea or design idea pages at different levels as part of a design folio for different briefs. This first example is for national four level and is for a similar brief to the store hold display, which we've been looking at through these example videos. As you can see from this example, there are four very different ideas which have been shown in 3D and have been rendered to illustrate what material choices have been made. These sketches are very high quality for national four level, but are the sort of quality you should be aiming for in design and manufacture. The person who's created this page has also added annotations to help justify their choice of materials, their use of their design issues, to showcase their knowledge and to help show where they've met specification points, which is a really important thing to add on to any design page. You should have written annotations as well as 2D or 3D sketches. You can also see that they've added little blocks of colour, known as flash bars, behind each of their designs to help bring their ideas off the page. This is just an additional design feature which really makes your presentation pop. This is an initial ideas page for a National 5 level project. Again, 2D and 3D sketches have been used to communicate. There's a much wider range of ideas in this example and there are multiple sketches for some of the ideas to help explain manufacturing details, material details or functional details. The annotations used also help to explain some of this information as well and make reference to the use of materials, any knowledge of the design issues and specification points. And this final example is for a higher level folio. So this initial ideas page is for a commercially manufactured product. So the designs will be slightly different to those that you would see at national four and five level. 
These products would aim to use commercial manufacturing processes rather than workshop manufacturing processes. But this is an excellent example of how you can generate and communicate a wide range of different ideas for the same brief following the same theme. And it provides detailed annotation, which again refers to research information, specification details, and the person's knowledge and understanding of both design and manufacture. Graphics during initial idea generation. Graphics used at this stage are mainly exploratory. They're for personal use and as such, presentation quality is often sacrificed for quantity of ideas at a fast pace. This basically means that on your initial ideas page, we're not expecting you to have perfect sketches. Although these examples are very neat and presentable, not everyone's initial ideas pages will be and that's perfectly acceptable. Sketching will usually be freehand and carried out quite quickly. And remember, the focus at this stage is on the generation of ideas. Your graphics will have to be minimal in detail and will likely focus on things like shape and form rather than intricate details. And your graphic types will include a range of 2D and 3D styles, depending on the complexity of the shapes and forms that you're sketching. Stay tuned for the next stage of the design process, which is idea development.